In this video, you're going to learn how to replace your voice and sync it back up perfectly using AI. So I'm editing one of my Instagram reels right now. And as you can see, my regular voice. So I'm finally back in France. And the other day, for the first time, I checked my Amazon. And so I want to replace just this first clip right here. So what I'm going to do is set an in point and an out point, and then I hit Command M to export. And I want to export just the audio. I don't need the video right now. So I'm just gonna make sure I select MP3 as the preset. If you don't have it, just click on more presets and then MP3. Once that's selected, I click OK. I'm just gonna name this audio to replace, and then we just click on export. It should be very quick because it's a super short snippet of MP3. So now I go to 11 labs. The link is in the description. So what you wanna do is click on speech to speech right here, and then I'm just going to go and grab the export that I just did, the MP3. I drop it right here, as you can see. So I'm finally back in France, my original voice. And now I just select the language model. I always leave it on multilingual V2. Here we've got the voices. And again, if you have a free account, if you actually create an account, you've got a much wider selection than if you didn't create an account. I'm gonna choose the Adam voice, which is the most popular one that we hear all the time on social media. Next, we've got the settings. And the only one I change here is stability. I tend to just lower this from 50% to round about 30. I like lowering it because I feel it makes the voice sound a little bit more natural. And it also makes it a little bit more experimental when you get some better results sometimes. I don't change anything else here. If you wanna know what they do, I'm gonna leave a video at the end of this one. But all I have to do then is just click generate. So I'm finally back in France and the other day, for the first time, I checked my Amazon affiliate clicks. So as you can see, that's a totally new voice. Now, I just hit download, and then I'm gonna take the voice right here, and then I go back to Premiere Pro, and I'm just gonna drag it and place it underneath. And I noticed that if I play it back, it won't be totally in sync. So, so I'm, I'm finally back, back in France. France. Uh, so I don't want to delete the original just yet. What I'm gonna do is zoom in, and as you'll notice, the sound waves aren't in sync. If you can't see these, just drag these out just like so. So I'm gonna trim off the beginning here by two frames, because 11 Labs tends to add a little extra on the beginning and the end. I'm gonna select it, and then I'm just gonna hold Command and shift it along one frame by frame with arrow keys until they match up perfectly, so just like this. So I'm finally back in France. Now it's quite hard to tell that there's two at the same time, or it's not hard to tell, but they sound perfectly in sync. And so I'm gonna trim off the end, I'm gonna option click on the original one so it deletes it without deleting the video. I'm just gonna drag this back up, Highlight both, link them again, and now if we take a listen. So I'm finally back in France, and the other day, for the first time, I checked my Amazon affiliate clicks. And so as you can see, my voice is now replaced with AI, and it's perfectly in sync. If you want to learn more about AI and how to master 11 Labs, watch this video right here. And if you enjoyed this video and you got some value from it, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.